Hey everybody, me checking in. Gonna do a video today on repairing um, a jet pump well well housing here. Uh, it had water in it and it froze and it broke the housing. Um, usually I have this coiled in um, heat tape so it doesn't happen, but I accidentally stepped on the cord and unplugged it. So we had a real bad cold snap, froze up, uh, and you can see it busted it pretty good. So this is a thousand dollar pump the housing alone is three hundred dollars so uh, that could be a really expensive mistake uh, but even though this is cast iron uh, it is fixable so the biggest secret here is you need to get yourself uh, some cast iron welding rod stick stick rod uh, this is about i think fifteen dollars get yourself an antique welder this is probably I think I paid $20 for this. It's got some really fancy cable on it. Uh, and then you're also going to need uh, a grinder, a die grinder, preferably with a carbide tip on it, because we're going to need to put a bevel on this to accept the rod bead. So with that said, uh, what I need to do, I gotta, I'm going to try to get this as hot as possible when I run the, when I run the bead. So I'm going to have to take there's some components inside so i'm gonna have to take this housing off clamp this back together to pull that gap out uh, so it doesn't interfere with what however the pump system works in there and then grind it out and lay the bead so if you got the tools it's it's pretty simple um, it'll save you like i said a thousand bucks so um, with that said i'm going to go ahead and get started tearing the pump down grind out this weld line and then just show you me running the bead. Um, I know it works. I've already done it once, obviously, like I said. So um, it did crack quite a bit worse this time. So we'll see what kind of damage I have on the inside. There shouldn't be anything gasket-wise that's affected. So and we're gonna, with it being separate, we won't be burning the gasket anyway. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. But it's a little bit different than the last time I did this. It busted completely in half. So it's still not a problem. We'll be able to fix it. Been, I've had trouble getting the seam aligned, so I'm going to go ahead and tack it before I do all the grind work. I'm going to tack it here, here, and here. So one thing I wasn't anticipating is my old welds 
that I did on the first repair are about twice the hardness of the cast iron. So my my carbide cutter is not really doing much work getting the old weld cleaned up. So where where I'm patching over my, my previous weld, I'm gonna angle grind it off to get back down to cast and then put my channel in. So I need a little bit more aggressive grinder. All right, that's it. I'm just gonna put uh, I clean clean off all the flux slag off of there, and I'm just gonna hit it with some self etching primer to keep it from getting rusty. So do that, and then put it back together and put it back in service. And I know my welds aren't pretty. This stuff isn't very easy to weld with, but it works. That's it. See you on the next video.